Hi everybody, it's 314 React here. As it's the month of Halloween, I thought it'd be a good time to do a Doom-inspired project. This is the Revenant Cyber Skeleton. Now in the game Doom, the Revenant is basically a cybernetically enhanced skeleton from hell with rocket launchers on its shoulder. So I found this skeleton in a store in the Halloween section and I thought it would be perfect to chuck some tech in and cybernetically enhance. It's got a Raspberry Pi in the head, it's got a camera in its right eye, an LED in its left eye. For the rocket launcher, it's got an RGB LED ring and the Pi connects to an Arduino Uno with an IO board on it that connects to the servo in its jaw to move its mouth and the LED and the RGB LEDs here and allows for a lot of expandability in future. Because I want this project to be a continuous continued work so that next year I can come back and add some stuff to it. At the moment it's rather simple, but it's a pretty cool Halloween prop. It can take pictures with the eyeball, it even has a little bit of ML stuff on it, and you can basically control it remotely because the Raspberry Pi Zero connects to the Wi-Fi, and you can VNC in and load up a Python menu to control all these various things on it. There's also a battery pack on the back, like some sort of uh, backpack, which is used for powering the Pi. I was hoping to power the Pi directly off of the Uno's USB, but it doesn't throw out enough amps for even a Pi Zero, so I've had to go with a separate power supply, and then the data cable is connected to the Pi Zero in order for the Pi Zero to send serial commands to the Arduino. So that's basically the gist of it. I just wanted to make a cool Halloween prop that's probably a bit more advanced than anything you can get in store and also have the ability to upgrade it in the future. So there's plenty of input outputs on the uh, IO board and under here. So in the future I can have more servos and stuff like that. And I may even swap out the Pi for something more powerful in the future so I can add in more machine learning stuff. But for now, let's see what this can do. So I've got the skeleton fired up now. There's the batteries that power the Arduino, and then of course the separate battery pack that powers the Raspberry Pi. I have two separate power supplies and this kind of design so that the Raspberry Pi doesn't have to worry about any of the servo code, the LED code, or potentially browning out from supplying power to lots and lots of servos. The IO board down there in the chest has lots and lots of connections for extra things like LEDs and servos, so it's perfect for expanding upon. Once it's booted, I load up VNC to connect to it, and as you can see, I've got a rather nifty Union Aerospace desktop there on the Raspberry Pi, which is the corporation from Doom. So I open up the command prompt here, and we go to the main UI Python file. And here we are at the main menu. So as you can see, there's 11 options there. There's one to train images. This is for the machine learning that I'm using. I'm using a machine learning project that I'll link down below. It's to analyze the number of fingers that somebody's holding up. So if you hold up four fingers, it's trained on a huge database of hand gestures and it can determine how many fingers you're holding up. I've managed to get that working, but it's not entirely accurate. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I think it could be because I'm running it on a Pi Zero and I've had to uh, change some settings just to get TensorFlow to work on the Pi Zero. So it could be something to do with that, but you can train on the images from the database. That'll take a long time on a Pi Zero though. Luckily there is a pre-trained file that I'm using Again, that's available in the link below. There's options to open and close the mouth, as well as move the mouth a number of times. There's the option to take a picture. There's the option to analyze fingers, which will take a picture, then run it through the TensorFlow model to try and inference how many fingers someone's holding up. There's a toggle for storing pictures, which basically means they'll write to the SD card once it's taken a picture. There's a toggle for turning the red eye on and a toggle for turning the blue eye on. And that's because I've used a bicolor red and blue LED. So you can have red or blue or a purpley color of color by toggling those. Fire rockets will light up the RGB LED ring and then 11 is toggle console printing which will just print out some more sort of debug stuff in the code. First of all training images again will take for ages and we're using a pre-trained model that's just kind of there for completion. Let's look at open and close mouth. When I press two and then enter it sends a command via the USB serial to the Arduino to move the servo to a certain position and the mouth opens. And when I press three and then enter, the mouth closes. So this already allows some pretty cool interactivity. At the moment, it doesn't have a voice, but for phase two, I'm probably gonna add some audio to it, some text-to-speech, and then link that text-to-speech with the mouth so that the Revenant can actually talk and be even more of a scary Halloween prop. So option four is chatter mouth, which will open and close the mouth a set number of times. When I hit enter there, it asks for an integer, which will open and close the mouth that set number of times. So let's go for 10 and we'll hit enter.
and there we go. So in future, I may make that considerably faster uh, just to align with whatever audio it's saying. But again, that is for future iterations. Option five will take a picture and display it using OpenCV. And there we go, it's taking a picture of me recording this very video. So this will be used for a number of things such as uh, further machine learning and enable it to be hopefully a bit more autonomous in future. At the moment, it is just purely remote controlled, but I'm hoping to expand on it so that in future, it will be able to recognize faces and then take actions based upon that as well to make it even more of a spooky Halloween cyber skeleton robot. I think I've just found a bug here as well. We're trying to take two pictures in the same run will result in a crash. I think that's because I am not closing the camera stream after taking the previous picture. Hopefully that'll be fixed in a future iteration or possibly by the time this video is uploaded as I'm going to quickly revisit the code just after I film this, which just shows I need to do more testing. As I said, there is some machine learning stuff on it right now where it will analyze the amount of fingers that somebody's holding up and try and inference that. We can give that a go now. I've not had much success with it. Again, I think it's because I'm running on a Pi Zero and the Pi Zero has problems with, uh, I think, Conv2D layers in TensorFlow. You have to change an option to use bias false and I think think that might affect it because it doesn't seem to be too accurate or I'm doing something else wrong. Uh, if anyone can take a look through my code and through the tutorial that I followed and let me know if I've done anything wrong. I haven't got time to fix it or look into it at the moment because I do want to get this project up by Halloween. So for now, this is just kind of a placeholder for future work, but we can give it a go anyway. If we type in six and we move over to the Revenant and hit enter and hold my hand up in front of it. So that should have inferenced five fingers, but it said finger zero with a probability of 0 0.90, which is, I think, like 90% it's sure that zero fingers have been held up, which isn't right. And I've also seen other issues with it as well. I have managed to get it to detect two fingers quite successfully, but I'm not sure if that's just a fluke or not. So that's something we're gonna have to look into and hopefully for future iterations fix so that I can control the skeleton by uh, certain hand gestures, as well as add some more machine learning on top of that. Uh, store camera pics toggle, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. That will just store captured pictures in a captured folder so they can be looked at later. And here we come to the red eye toggle and blue eye toggle. So if I press 8, the red eye comes on, a bit like a Terminator's eye. If I press 9, the blue eye comes on as well and turns it into a nice bright purpley colour. If I press 8 again, it toggles the red one off and it's just blue. And then if I press 9 again, it toggles the blue one off and the LED eyeball turns off completely. Finally is the firing rockets functionality. So if I type in 10 on the menu here, It does a rather nifty RGB display. Now, unfortunately, due to the way that Arduinos work, it's not possible to have the RGB LEDs moving and move the mouth at the same time or switch on the LED eye. I may have to try and find a way around this so that it can move the RGB LEDs, as we're seeing there, and move its mouth and do other actions at the same time. But at the moment, it's just restricted to doing one thing at a time with the Arduino. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. It's taken me a couple of weeks and it's got a few bugs with it, but it does, as I said, Say serve as a good platform for future Halloween, so I'm really excited to see what I can add to it. It doesn't quite look or work like a Revenant from Doom, but it's a good start. I could get some big servos here and get its arms moving, or at least its hands moving and do something there. The battery backpack I could possibly replace with a PowerBoost 500 and a Live Poly battery to make that a bit more tidier. I could maybe tidy up some of the wiring around here, but I can definitely expand upon it. Maybe even add some sensors. I could even possibly add like a gyro to it and some really advanced sort of servo gear to it and maybe try and get it to stand up. Probably unlikely, but it would be cool to try. So just before we go, let's have a closer look at what's on board. So as you can see there, in the rib cage is the Arduino Uno with a Gravity I.O. board from DF Robot in there. Simple battery box with some energizers in there. Other battery brands are available. Got the head here and on the back there is a access hatch so I can unscrew that and you can look in there and see the Raspberry Pi. So let's actually do that now. And that little bit unhooks off of there. 
and then boom, the whole hatch opens up and you can see its brain in there, which is just obviously a Raspberry Pi Zero with a nice heat sink on it. And that allows for easy access and maintenance and in future, possibly a more advanced board can go in there. I'm also tempted to replace the Raspberry Pi camera with like a Husky lens or something or some sort of uh, machine learning dedicated hardware that can connect to the Raspberry Pi and take the job of processing uh, images off of the Raspberry Pi and onto a dedicated piece of hardware and pass the results back to the Pi, which should allow for a lot more functionality with the skeleton. Like I say, the power bank backpack is a bit hefty at the moment, so it would be good to shrink that down, but that would definitely supply the Pi with enough power to last for hours, I imagine, because that is quite a big battery pack. And the four AA batteries will power the Arduino as well for a very long time, and ensures that it can power a lot of servos and LEDs without worrying about taking power away from the Raspberry Pi and having that crash or something. So that was the Doom-inspired Revenant Cyber Skeleton Halloween project. What did you think? Did you like the project? Did you not like the project? Please do like or leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Leave a comment on your thoughts. Uh, what other functionality do you think I could add to this? All the links are in the description leading to how I built this, all the parts that I use for it as well, and all the code and links to other projects that I use to help me make this. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty simple at the moment, but I think I can add some cool stuff to this, and I think it's pretty spooky. I had to get it out by Halloween, of course, so there's a few extra things I'd have wanted to have done, but I just haven't got time to do because I need, do need to get this out for Halloween. And like I say, I'm gonna revisit it next year. So please do subscribe, hit the little bell, it really helps the channel. I'm always making new videos on tech and video games, so keep an eye out for those. Please do stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.